Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Gunpla Review. I am Spicy Build and let's take a look at the Bandai Builders Parts System Base 001. Now the Builders Parts line has been discontinued for quite some time. Seeing uh, they've been replaced with the uh, most recent build custom parts and stuff like that. But some of these old builder parts are actually still really, uh, really good and very useful. And they're mostly designed for the high grade Universal Century line as well as some real gray lines so they're compatible both lines um yeah obviously this one here is the 1144 scale system base so let's go ahead and take a look at box real quick obviously this kit was released in 2011 may in japan and we have the real gray rx78-2 right here and then we have the uh high grade 144 scale high grade universal century 144 uh unicorn gundam and destroy mode so you can uh, you can modify your uh, system base to you know uh, it, it got multiple parts components so you can convert it into you know whichever suit that you want to fit in uh, the display base. Now this is not like an action base. This is more like just something that you put on the shelf to display your model kit and make it look cool. You know like a like it's standing in the hangar and something like that. Um, it doesn't really have any other function other than, you know, weapon storage maybe and displaying the uh, model kit. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the site here. Obviously, we got all these uh, interesting gimmicks where you can do with the uh, uh, the system base. And it's uh, recommended to be used with your 144 scale real grades and high grades. So apparently, the official age recommendation for real grades, even in Japan, is 15 and up. Well, the high grades are recommended for ages 8 and up, which are irrelevant because uh, in North America, the official recommended age is ages 15 and up. Do not give these products to anyone under the age of 15. Okay, retail price is 900 yen, so you're looking at about 8 US dollars. Um, I think you can get something like this for about 15 US dollars in North America, which I think is still okay. Anyway. Uh, here are the uh, import stickers from Bandai, obviously. Uh, these are not approved by Bluefin. It, it does say ages 15 and up, but yeah. Uh, Bluefin no longer allow other, other companies to, uh, or other distributors, to be importing uh, Gunpla product into the United States. Uh, they have the exclusive right from Bandai to uh, be distributing the uh, uh, Gunpla products. So yeah so uh, it is what it is so anyway uh so when you see something like this this is not supposed to be official <laughs> that's uh, very interesting to know but anyway here we have uh what you can do with the system base you can convert it into the larger format or the uh, uh smaller format and obviously uh this is what i like you know uh, system base holding all the zakus and here we have all the components for uh, conversion purposes. I do not have the manual for this kit. I don't know what I did to it, but I uh, I can tell how to, uh, uh, it, it's very simple to convert this thing. So I'll just show you guys real quick how to do it. Uh, if you lost your manual instruction manual and stuff like that, you can check out 1999.co.jp or dalong.net. Um, I'll put the link in the video description. Uh, I'd like to thank my viewers for mentioning Dalong. <laughs> That's actually also a very useful uh, um, source uh, if you lose your instruction manual. Obviously, one is, Jap one is Japanese. Uh, Dalong, I think, is Korean. So, anyway, here we have the system base itself. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a nice little uh, just display base where you can use to uh, display your uh, your model kit. Your Gunpla. I'm pretty sure you can use it for anything else aside from Gunpla, maybe even Transformers, as long as they fit in here. Uh, this figure right, uh, this model kit right here is about five inches. So if you have your, uh, you know, I, I think your uh, deluxe class, Voyager class might be able to fit in here. Uh, Voyager class, you might want to expand the uh, base a little bit. Yeah, you want to like open it up, but. Yeah, it's it's very neat. Take a look at that real quick. So we also have uh, you know uh, storage areas for the weapon. Uh, these are very simple. Basically, uh, 
you just open these up, split this open. You know, you just have the weapon resting in, in between these two parts, and then you just close it up, and then you attach it via all these slots right here. So, yeah, multiple uh, segments where you can slot these uh, uh, holders in place. So that's very nice, and you can also, uh, you know, there's also different uh, <coughs> different slots here on the side where you can, you know, if you need to accommodate like a longer weapon, like uh, I guess like a rocket launcher, bazooka, or whatever, or like a spear or some whatever you want. Also, uh, we also got these adapters right here on the side, so you can attach multiple uh, system bases. So, you know, you can have another system base right next to this to complete, you know, your uh, display. It's very nice. And uh, this thing also got some very interesting gimmicks. So we have all these, uh, you know, various other uh, slots right here. So you can angle the uh, display if you want to. So, yeah. You can have it like this. One, two, three, like that. And let me show you quickly how to uh, convert this thing real quick. So basically what you can do here is you can remove this little parts. Okay, it's uh, a little bit difficult to do on camera. I tend to like to mess things up real bad on camera, so just bear with me. I'm trying to not to break anything. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to break this thing or crack something. But anyway, uh, we'll see. Okay, that is not coming out properly. So, I'm going to have to put this back in there. Like that. Try to get this part out. There we go. Okay. It's nice. I didn't uh, break anything. I didn't crack any parts on this ABS plastic. Okay, so... You can have that, or you can have this piece. This is basically two pieces snapped together. All the parts, uh, all these silver parts, uh, are painted. So if you wanted to look anything like the uh, uh, what you see here, you do need to paint all the silver and all the copper parts. Yeah, that's uh, basically this thing just come in all gray color. So yeah, if you want extra colors, you have to put in the extra work. So you can see right here. Let's go ahead and get this guy right here. So you can have it like, you know, angled for maintenance purposes, stuff like that. You know, you want like people working on the uh, mobile suit or something. Okay, that is that. And let's go ahead and convert this thing into the larger format for like larger mobile suits. Um, I think it can work with smaller 1-100 scale kits such as the uh, F91. Or uh, any of the crossbones, yeah, those should work. All the uh, the wing uh, Gundams, the Gundams from the uh, Wing Universe, because they're they're actually 18 millimeter tall, so they're supposed to be like the smaller Gundams. Yeah, and the 90s Gundams are always a little smaller. I don't know why. That's just the way it is. Like you have the Victory, you have the Wing Gundams, and then you have the uh, how was that? What's it? The, uh, oh yeah, the, the double X, the DX. That guy is also kind of small. So, okay. And basically, yeah, all you have to do is split this part, split this apart. And then there we go. Now it's at, in the larger format, like that. And basically what you can do here, you can do the same thing. You can use uh, this larger forklift part right here to uh, bridge the gap right there or you can use this part right here to uh, attach it to uh, this section and this I think is a lot more robust so you got a lar larger mobile suit like the unicorn uh, this will fit this will work perfectly or like a Voyager class transformer that you want to display it's a it's a very versatile display. I think it looks really cool. You know, it, even like this whole you know mechanical hangar bay kind of look. Uh, yeah, it, it's really nice. I really like this thing. Yeah, they come in various different color. I think there's white, there's black, and then there's gray. I think gray is probably the best looking one. 
And you can also bring out all, more of the details if you decided to, like, you know, paint it and panel line it. Obviously, all I did is painted these uh, piston parts. Uh, you can panel line it, you can weather it, you know, do whatever you want with it and make it look even better. So, this is definitely something I recommend picking it up. And yeah, this thing is still in production. Uh, they're still printing these uh, system bases. So, it's definitely something that's still in demand and still very useful. So, let's go ahead and put, uh, yeah, well, actually a Robot Damashi too. So, I have here my Robot Damashi uh, Double O Gundam. And that looks pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't fit it with the double riser though. The riser just takes up too much space. Yeah. Well, in my work, since uh, this guy isn't really that humongous. But yeah, works with your robot Damashi, works with your uh, 144 scale Gunpla. Maybe smaller 100 scale kits. Uh, yeah, 100 scale doesn't just include the master grade. There's high grade 100 scale, there are no grade 100 scale. They are reborn 100. It, it's just a mess. Uh, so yeah, that's why another reason why I don't really care about that scale. But anyway, without uh, going further into uh, more uh, unrelated stuff, this is what the uh, system base 001 is. Uh, definitely something I would recommend picking up uh, if you want something for uh, you know something cool to go with your model kit for display purposes. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.